come to a local car park um, that's on top of an old shopping centre. 60s design I think. I just wanted to show you what a nightmare this car park is right going down. Um, all going up. All, all going up. up for any which way and I actually have to look down because it just makes me really dizzy. I'll warn you now if you're prone to getting dizzy because you're spinning around look, then look, uh, look away. Oh that ping pong sound ignore it. And we go. <laughs> I'm gonna do it from this side. Don't, don't go so far. <laughs> Actually it's not so bad looking at it through the camera. It's when you're looking at it from that side. Uh, look at all those uh, <laughs> marks on the wall. That's when people have been clipping up the wall on the way down. That would be me if I was There's to drive this car. Well, I've never driven this car park, have I? I've never come up here. Oh, oh. and we have to slow down because oh. someone is driving too slow in front of us. Maybe they couldn't get out. Oh. Come around! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your taking a ride in this multi-story car park. <laughs> and this you come to the end of your ride. Oh, excellent. That costs one pound twenty. What? <laughs> You're recording again? Yeah. Why? Tell. Oh, yeah. Tell yeah. what I did last night. Yeah, the stupid sitting next to me here, who's holding the camera, woke me up last night, about quarter past five in the morning. And I had to go outside in my longi, in the rain, with a cricket bat in my hand. <laughs> and uh, I'll, let, I'll let monkey face behind the camera. Uh, explain why and what's a longi by the way you got to tell other people who don't know why it is. you tell them what a longi is why should i tell them what a longi is if you want to dress L up in that way a, lo a longi is the most comfortable men's wear you can get Logging. what happened is i could hear something um which sounded like um you know the tiles the slate the slate tiles that have been thrown off the roof and they've all broken down on the hardcore and there's some on the scaffolding. It sounded like that was someone was walking on it and it sounded like it was crunching away. Um, and I could hear things being moved about. So I woke up with a start, listened, and I could still hear this noise and I woke him up. And so someone's on the scaffolding and he heard it too. So he ran out the house in his longi and a cricket bat, which, you know, it was just really crazy. And then when I went downstairs after him I saw that the cat was licking his bowl clean and it's like a steel bowl and as it was going across the floor it was making that same sound so yeah I thought to myself should I run up and get my camera and record him out while he's in his longi in a cricket bat outside at 5 a.m. I thought no that's a bit too cruel um, but yeah it is really scary where I'm sleeping very lightly he's still absolutely exhausted but I do sleep very lightly because I do feel really exposed um, and obviously we have we've had building sites near us that have been um, looted for all their things I mean it, it's I, I don't know why I worry but at that time of the night you do worry you know all these things are really heavy and people aren't gonna walk off with you know stuff that's in massive crates but yeah I still worry I don't know when when it's night time you just not in your senses and you think anything don't you and more than stuff it's it's your own personal safety Especially when you've got the scaffolding um, up and it's near the windows and I do think oh my god anyone could just get in their windows upstairs so even when it was hot recently we um, kept all the windows closed because I just thought oh you know you just don't know do you there's so 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 many sad things in the world today and it's just not safe sadly okay so this is the loft and it's been raining talk about April showers in mid May it's been raining for days and days and days, which is a bit unexpected. And uh, we have tarpaulin on the roof, and there's water coming through. <laughs> and I'm still laughing, I'm still smiling. That, re that red thing over there has got all the babies' clothes in there when they were younger. Is that him, Abdul? Yay! And this is our internet box, it's wet. I'll show you that site in a second, I'm on YouTube. There's a power point, there's no power in it because there's water. You can see like the water's just running through and there's water on the floor there. And this here is a, a bungla longi boy that we managed to find. Um, I'm not going to show you any lower because his longi is kind of 
We've done up a bit Mobley style. Had a bit of water coming down in the bathroom, but now um, I've went up there and sorted that out. But now it's coming through in my daughter's bedroom. We decorated this um, just last year. <laughs> and so, yeah, we've got to redecorate again where it's literally coming right down.